All right, guys. Welcome back to tutorial number three for using the Airtable system. And today we will be looking into how to use uh, the these three functions: filter, group, sort. And we will also learn about this function here, the share view link. And then we will go on to touch about using this share function over here. Uh, this is actually for you to add collaborators. Uh, before we start off to learn about the filter group and sort function, let's key in a new record here and we will say that this task was a tenant call uh, feedback on something. All right? And over here, we will change it to we will not be using this record anymore. Let's add a new record, which means it's a new property. So 05, 05-67 ZZZ road. Okay. So this is actually a new property that uh, we will be using for this example, as opposed to the original 01123 ABC road. Let's say there's actually an appointment. Okay, we just put it as 20th of September. So this is something that we are going to do. Okay, so by using the filter function, we will be able to see exactly for which property the task is for. Let's say uh, we have set the property to be 0567. So we, are, we only want to see the task that is for this particular property. We will not be seeing the task that was for 01123, the other properties that we have. Okay, now if I were to cancel away this, you can see all the tasks reappears in the table. If we were to use the group function and we select property, this is actually what happens. You can see that it groups up the task according to the property that we have entered. So we can actually see things more clearly according to which property has what task that we need to do. Now, if we were to add on the sort function, okay, we can select which field we want to sort by. We are going to sort by the date appointment. Right? So ascending order. So this is what happens. Nothing changed uh, because it's already sorted by uh, ascending order. Let's try it the other way. You can see how it's going to change the date of appointment. So you will be seeing uh, right at the top is a later state. Yeah. And the last one is actually the older state. So by using the filter, the group and the sort function, it will be easier to see the data records according to your needs and preferences. Now, we are going to add a new view. You can see that this by default is a core grid view. We will add another grid view and it's going to be called grid2. We will change this to client view. All right. And by using the filter function that we have just learned, we are going to add a filter where the property is 01-123. Okay. So you will only be seeing in this client view 01-123. In this view uh, for 01-123, what you can then do is to make use of the share view function. This is also the share grid view link function. This is a private link uh, where the client can only see this set of data records and not any other record which you have in your original table okay and let's take a look at how it's going to look this is exactly what the client sees there is no editing allowed so but the client can still see all of this information the task that uh, was for this you know for his property 01-123 and this view will be very useful for both the client and your corporate agent uh, if you need to let them see some of this information for example you are preparing a report for your client 
to show uh, some of the things that you have already done and when you actually did these things for him. Now, once you feel that this share link is uh, no longer needed, you have to go back to your main table under the client view okay, and you will press the disable share view link so that particular view that you have just seen will no longer be available let's take a look i've already pressed the disable now we will just refresh the page and this is what happens so the private share link you try to reach is no longer available okay next let's go back to our main table not this client view uh, we will switch back to the grid view so these are all the information that's already been listed and we will now be exploring how to use this share button here okay you learned that the share view link is for the Cobra agent and your client and this share button here is actually for collaborators meaning to say your teammate or your assistant so you can actually add their email address here and then select the function okay the role that they are uh, they will be using so a creator is uh, someone who can do exactly what you are doing uh, you can edit the fields you can edit the records so the editor is someone who can only edit the records but cannot edit the fields okay the commenter is someone who can comment on the records and cannot edit the records okay lastly read only means to say cannot edit cannot comment so the best role for your teammate or your assistant will be an editor meaning to say this person is able to edit the records but cannot edit the fields which you have already set up and that's the end of today's tutorial in this tutorial you learned about the grouping filter and the sort functions you also learned how to add a new view which will only display the necessary data for your client and corporal agent you learned how to make use of the share view link to show the data to the client and you also learned how to add collaborators meaning your teammates or your assistant in the next tutorial we will learn about some basic formulas that you can use to better organize the data records in the property tab and also we will go and see how to further improve on the contact tab to make it into a useful contact management system which you and your teammates can use together see you at the next tutorial